Wow, Nichols takes a bit of a rest. He bowled seven overs on the trot. And now look at the score. Five for 166. Three wickets have fallen. Kawaja is still there. But it is Lynn Forrest and Hartley who have all departed. He'll finance Doldy and a run out. Contributing to those three wickets. Now Nichols will look to come back and do what he did in the first innings from the Queensland side. He'll take some wickets. He's one for 11. Can't remember he's bowled seven overs. Kawaja is still there. He'll have loved more time to attack Kawaja from this line going around the wicket. So now trying it and again short leg they go for a quick single but the ball just dribbles away not bad running there Kawasha 89 credit goes to him for a fantastic knock so far he has led his team very well in the bat increase nearing the 45th over though 168 on the board it's gone that is the big one and the hope is gone. Hopes departs. Nichols gets number two. And we see it again coming up against this lower order. Nichols strikes. Payne takes a catch. It's about to say five down. There is not much hope going around. But forward defensive, thin outside edge. Hopes is gone. Two off six. Paying the catch, Nichols the delivery, that's the end of the over, six wickets down, it only seems a matter of time now if the uh, Tigers can dismiss the balls and clean this one up. Now Kawaja is the hope and dreams, there's no question about that, Ben Cutting is at the other end, again he pulls that sweep away and he'll scamper a single. Is that something he wants to do though, is it something... Do so you want to put cutting on strike? He's new to the crease. Nichols has a knack here against these lower order batsmen. Well, that's a good defensive shot from cutting. Getting in deep behind it there. 2.45 to win the dream. It's surely over here. They've got a bad time. They've got to try and play for a draw, but still a lot of time to play. That seems almost impossible. Nichols, fourth ball the over, flights it up, gets a bit of hit on it as well, does cutting. And they'll happily let him scamper through a single. He moves to five. It's going all right so far. Kawaja looking for that century. Gets that one to move, and it's played straight down the ground. Nichols fields in his follow through. Kawaja seems to like this line from Nichols. He got it nicely away there. Plenty of space out there for a couple of runs as well through mid-wicket. We'll take a couple. And the over comes to a close. Four runs coming off it from Nichols. But the wickets still there to be taken. Four to go before this one will be complete. Six for 177. Kawaja on strike. Oh, he just tickles that one round nicely. Goes square, but... Got him very, very thin on his pads. Nearing the 50 over mark. Cutting his back. 5 off 12 now. 178 for 6. Just squirts that one out. Keeper happy with how his young spinner's going. Captain Tim Payne. Is that one's in there? A bit aerial from Cutting. Chance was there for the Tigers. The stumps are getting dismantled all over the place. Five of 14. Floats one up. Straight back to the bowler. No run taken again. Cutting five of 15. Looking to play time here. With his key batsman, Kawaja. Would love to get him through to 100. Deserves it. Yep. As Kawaja gets some real air on that one. Flicking off the pads. Great shot. Gets himself a run, but lucky to survive. A metre or two away from the fieldsman. Scampering in from the boundary. Still going for those stumps, Nichols. Not getting anything from it so far, though. Just two wickets. 
Plenty to think about too from this game. Man in the match, who would it come from? Some big centuries from the Tigers batting lineup. Cosgrove and Cowan. Nichols, four wickets in the first innings, two so far in the second. Comes to have a couple of runs too in the first innings for the Tigers. But I don't think that trumps the kind of innings that we've seen from Cowan. And he comes again. But leg side is, gets a very straight this cutting. Kawaj is still there on 95. He'll get a chance at some balls now. Nichols is going back over the wicket now to Kawaja. I don't think his round the wicket has really worked the plan that well. And again, instantly he strikes into action. Two balls to go on this over. Kawaja 95. Can he find the boundary and find a century? It will take one massive shot. We haven't seen too many of them from Queensland in this game. Last ball the over. Flight it up again. Gets not much on that, Kawaja. The over comes to a close once again. And the speaker was going on about inappropriate behaviour being ejected from the stadium. So keep that in mind when you go into the cricket. Hilford House is coming to change the other end from the bowlers. Oh. It's all. Oh, well, well, that was a bit interesting. Things have kind of just dawdled along here from the Tigers. So they look to wrap this one up, but how a bit of interest here is cutting. Doesn't want to play much at all. Two for 20 for Nichols. He's bowled very economically Waiting. as well. Tigers would love to wrap this up though. Still four wickets to go. 188. Oh, big dive. What hands from Nichols. Cutting is doing well. He's been there for a long time. He sweeps. Oh, how did he not catch that? It goes to the fence for four. It's head and hand stuff. We have another look to see how close that was to the fieldsman. Oh no, it was quite a wee way away. It looked juicy for him. But in the end, a nice shot. Finding the boundary rope. And cutting goes to 19. Last ball, the over. Oh, playing inside the line. Shorter one pulled back from Nichols. Just about cleans up his off stump again. How many times have we said it that Stump is getting an absolute working over from Nichols? Six for 196. They are still going, cutting in Kawaja. And this is starting to wear down to on the Tigers. Still a long way to go on this day, though. Pulled back from Nichols that one, looking to force straight ball comes in again again it's dragged back and given some encouragement to move off the pitch cutting 19 Kawaj is still looking for that century there's some air and just a bounce short Kawaja will get strike though he's on 99 that's what cutting wanted to do he needed to get Kawaja striking century on offer See, put a lot of effort into that shot, but didn't get anything out of it. Last ball, the over. Can he get a century? Drags it down again, Nichols, and it will be played down to mid-on. No run off that. 6 to 197 goes over the loudspeaker. No wickets. Kawaja still waits for the triple figures. And that is the end of the session as well. Queensland coming off. Well, they'll be happy. These two have done very, very well to stay together all this time. Let's have a quick review of where the game is at. For we resume at the last two sessions to go. That is the end of session one. Day four, Kawaja 99. Forrest chipped in for 40. Milford House and Nichols have two apiece. 6 to 197. Chasing a big amount over 400 from the Tigers. They have a lot of work still to go. Not even halfway yet. Uh, the Bulls 
Let's get back to the action though. Stick around and stay tuned. We have session two coming right up. The last ball of the 66th over has seen a wicket finally tumble. It was that of Kawaja. That's a bit of interest from the bowling side as well. Could be a couple and two balls. No. Whoa, that was just about a one to get on. But as I was saying, the wicket of Kawaja has fallen. And now some reinvigoration into the Tigers bowling attack as Nichols also has taken a good 12 over break. Boises to the crease. Kawaja gone. Let's keep on about Kawaja. 150. 150. A massive score under all this pressure. Now he goes into the reckoning Waiting. for a possible man of the match. If his side can get home, which seems still unlikely, with still about 160 runs to get. Boyson cutting. Cutting still there. He's been there for an absolute age. Can Boyce stick around? 159 to win as the score at the moment. 260 for seven. Finally, they put in a bigger effort in their first innings. The Bulls, they could have really had a chance. But the Kawaja has given them the biggest one of all. A great innings from him. And now the game is on. Well, the game was on. In fact, it was really on three to go. 150 runs to get. But... Jackson Bird has said no, very, very dominantly as well, taking out two wickets, cutting and Feldman in the last over. Now one remains. Nichols resumes, but the score is almost done and dusted. 260 for nine. One wicket remains. Nice is there with Boyce. It seems like now it really is a matter of time till this one is done. Sweeping away goes Boyce and gets off the mark as well. A nice shot for the Tigers. The pressure come on. Kawasha put them under a whole heap of pressure. But their bowling has come good. And now they'll get the win here, surely. Nichols, only two for 27 for the spinner. Has had to toil very, very hard in this match. But he'll still get the win. He's still put in a good performance. Six wheels for the game. And about 30-odd runs as well. 26, I think, to be exact. Nisa and Nichols. Well, they met quite... Interestingly, in the first innings, there's a bit of air there. Finds its way almost down to long on. Oh, these stumps are getting absolutely smashed every time the ball is thrown. The over comes to a close. A couple of runs of it from Nichols, but the wicket is what they all want. And the wicket is what Jackson Burrow will be looking to clean up in the next over. Nine for two, six, five. Still, that last wicket remains. A lot of runs still to get. That one strikes a pad. Appeal goes up, but it did look leg side. The umpire not even interested enough to give a call on that one. Two for 28, Nathan Nichols. Nichols is there on four. Boyce is still only on one. Run rate 3.7, 265 on the board. Flicked off the pants. All chance catch run as well. But they say no to everything. 154. Again, aerial... As he looks through, mid on, all the way out there to long on as well. Fields it in, the ball comes over Nichols' head. 72 overs bowled so far. It's a hard toil, this. Two overs, two balls to go, I should say. Still have a long time to go if these two want to bat for the time as well. Last ball that's over, one run coming off it. Pulls it in short, Nichols. Again, off the pad. Leg side, though. The appeal rejected from the umpire. Nichols desperate for the third wicket. He'd love one. But he's not finding any luck with it at the moment. One wicket still remains on the field. Can they pick it up here before too much dragging on of this game goes? So Hilfenhaus has replaced Bird at the other end. So change of bowling, looking to inflict some damage. But the ninth wicket is still the 10th wicket, I should say, is still there. 270 on the board. Boyce 2 now, Nisa 8. Nichols 2 for 29, leg side, he backs away. Really, there's nothing happening here against Nichols at all. It is slow. 
from the batsman. And he comes again, Nicholson. Boyce just plays him down. And Nichols is going to change it up here and go around the wicket. He really wants to clean this one up here. 150 to win. 149 to be exact. Nichols trying to force it onto the young man as he cuts it away. Nice thing. Oh, dissects the field and will pick up four. The luck is just not with Nathan Nichols today at all. Expose that leg stump. Just gets it away from square leg. And away it goes to Ray from fine leg away as well. He scampers down. No chance of stopping that. A bit of aggression. A bit of excitement. We still have the one ball to go. Boyce now on six. His first bounce. It's to go. There it is. Finally. The Tigers get the win. It's to pain. Nichols gets three. It has been hard, hard work. The Queensland Bulls really put the, the spike in the road, as they can say. They pitched in, they dug in, all the cliche sayings. They really put the stick in the mud as well. Anything you like, they have done it though. The game is over. The wicket goes to Nichols, he picks up three, and they should well celebrate. Man of the match we talked about earlier, it does go to Cowan was my pick as well the winning side 166 the top score from the two teams Nichols picks up seven wickets which is not a bad knock at all seven wickets 26 runs off the bat his side get the job done when you look at the scoring 344 and 319 from the two innings coming big scores Cosgrove 121 Cowan 166 contributions throughout the innings for the bowling of the Bulls, Nisa and Fieldman in the first innings, cutting in hopes in the second. But Nichols was the consistent through the Tigers bowling. Four for 30 and three for 33. A good display. Had to really put in hard yards, bowled a lot of overs as well. But the win for the Tigers had to work for it. Like I've said, the Bulls, though, continue to struggle. The Tigers should go nicely near the top of the ladder. That is the end of this first class matchup all four days almost complete before we get a result it has been quite a classic when it comes to first class games like that i thank you for tuning in and watching hope you have enjoyed the matchup out there on the field and i'll see you all next time for i presume we'll be back to one day colored clothing it seems to alternate between the two so i'll see you all there thanks for sticking around and until next time take care